Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. It's only been... How many months now? <laughs> this happens to me every time. I, I finish the first dungeon, and then I just am like, Alright, I'm burnt out, I'm good, I I'm okay. I feel good, I feel like I've played enough. And then, uh, and then I just stop playing. And I don't know why, every time, every time. I, I've streamed it on Twitch, I stopped playing at the end of part one. I've, I've done it twice on Twitch and now once on YouTube. No more though! Because we back. We back! With Persona 5 Royal. Oh my god. 25 hours into the game, only about 200 hours to go at our pace. Uh, we got this. We got this. Uh, we'll be releasing these videos every night. Well, not every night, but like... Once a night every three days, alongside Hades and maybe another Death Stranding series. I think that sounds about right. Anyway, welcome back. Hope you guys are all having a fun time. I did say the series was coming back in November to uh, a few people. All right. I don't really know what we're actually supposed to be doing, but you know, whatever. Prove your existence to society. Search for your next target. All right. Okay. We need to make sure the Phantom Thieves is a name we can hang our hats on. Right, we named ourselves something or other. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. It'll take me a little bit to kind of get used to everything again. Do we need to water our plant? Looks pretty healthy for now. Excellent. We can work on the desk, but it's evening, right? Check the news. And now, an update on the arrest of charismatic teacher Suguru Kamoshida. A former Olympian in volleyball, he confessed to assaulting and sexually harassing his students. Police will be investigating his high school tomorrow to substantiate the claims. Hmm. It seems the police will be coming to your school. Uh, just act like you don't know anything. Easy, right? Hmm? If you're asking for allowance, the answer is no. If you want money, earn it yourself. Alright, no problem. Pay phone. Why would you use this thing in a day and this day and it's true? Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious. I am stuffed. We should relax for the night. Starting tomorrow, we'll be working as get backers. Oh my god, I forgot we made ourselves that. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. I'm sure there will be no copyright issues whatsoever. Actually, let's see what our, our stats are doing like right now. Uh, let's go into the toilet. Hey! Why are you staring at LeBlanc's bathroom? I'm going to think for a bit. Hmm, they do say you can relax on the toilet. It's true. Instead of a newspaper, you just look at your cell phone and you're good. I should reflect for a bit. I have no idea how far I am by Im uh, from improving my knowledge. I have no idea for charm either. Or proficiency. I'm definitely close to improving my guts though. As well as my kindness. All right, so kindness and guts. Those seem to be the uh, the next targets on the list for us to uh, improve our stats, rather our persona, or no. Also, almost naked chick, excellent. Good job, past self, working the dream. What is this thieves den thing? Yes, 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 what is thieves den? I must know. What is this? Huh? Oh, it's like a gallery of sorts? Like a collectathon? Hmm. I really messed that up. I can't believe I mixed up the gas and brake pedals. <sighs> oh well. Oh shit, it was auto. It's auto scrolling. What did he say? First, I need to fix this up. Okay. That'll do it. So. Okay. So, did you need something from me? Were you drawn here by the smell, too? Oh. Oh, sorry. I guess you just got here, too, huh? I can definitely understand not knowing what's going on here. Don't worry. I see. 
Hmm, I think I'm starting to get it, though. So that's what this place is. Hey. This is a place created by the cognitions of people like yourself. Your memories and feelings are collected here and given shape. Boy, am I sure glad I came here now. I bet this place can teach me all sorts of things. Hey. I'm going to stick around here for a while. You could take a look around too, if that interests you. I'm curious to see more of the memories inside you. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. I'll help as much as I can. Good? Well, that should wrap it up. Good job. All right, just some child with an eggshell on his head. No problem here. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, Atlas overlay. Hold on here. Transform! Actually, can I transform it? Uh, I think I'm recording at a higher resolution now to make the screen look better, so... That ought to do it. There you go, Atlas. Don't sue me. All right. Thieves Den. In the Thieves Den, you can use you can use P medals to purchase and enjoy a variety of extra content. You can obtain P medals by obtaining awards or by playing Tycoon. You received a P medal. Please enjoy Thieves Den. An item was added to the contents below. Palace Maker, Music Player, Movie, Gallery. You've obtained a new award. Okay, this is like a casino? In a way, maybe? collect a -thon casino thing? Hi. Hey, do you want to learn some stuff about this place? Like I mentioned before, this place is where many people's memories are given shape, including your own. You should be able to access your memories in all sorts of ways here. Uh -huh. Install all sorts of models, listen to music, watch videos, check out pictures, play cards. If you wanted, I bet you could even change your own appearance. You can check out all of your accomplishments and even, oh, I probably shouldn't just dump all this on you at once, huh? What do you want? I can explain all that stuff in more detail. What do you want to learn about? Uh, I would like to learn how to change my appearance. Hey. For that, you should try stepping on those big floor panels upstairs. I bet there are all kinds of outfits you can wear, or even different forms. Taking a different form from what you're used to is always so weird, but even that's possible here, it seems. Alright, cool. Uh, and then... I think that's really it. That's all I care about. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Come on back if you want to know anything else. Doing good? That takes care of that. Good job. Thanks, eggshell man. So we got to get to the second floor. I think we are on the second floor. Oh, wait, no, nope, nope. We definitely aren't. Hey. Oh, is this for all of our companions as well? go to uh, Joker Pennywise transformation tile by stepping on certain tiles in the thieves den you can change your character to whoever is drawn on the tile oh by stepping on the same tile you will be able to change in different outfits uh, press the options button to return to your normal self okay I would like to uh, reveal what I thought they said I could change my personal outfit, though. What is this? There's like little notes and stuff here, too. Oh, what? Oh. I'm like swapping between different outfits, I guess. The thing is, I could have sworn I have. Oh, it's a tutorial here. Okay. Alright. Hello. Oh, weird, it even, like... I, guess I didn't realize how much shorter she was than uh, Joker. There we go. Who doesn't want to walk around like this, am I right? I actually love Ryuji's design, though. He's so cool. Oh, man, the camera angle, even. There we go, we did it. We did it, everybody. We're playing as the true hero of the game. Catman. Ooh... 
we can get three more characters. Noise. Wait, four, five more characters? Holy shit. What is all this stuff, man? It was cool. Check awards. School life. Supersize my stomach. Cleared all of the Big Bang challenges. Oh my god. Okay. And this wall will fill up as we do more. Golden Fingers beat all the retro games that can be played in your room. Word Wizard solved 15 crosswords. Holy shit. All right. What about battle? Did I do anything? Yeah, crack shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we got money, I guess. Uh, we probably got 80 for this, right? Because before we even arrived, we had 80 bucks. Defeated a total of 100 enemies using a gun. Yes, guns are amazing. Okay, I think we're good. I've had my fill. Let's get the hell out of here. Return to video game. Yes, please. <laughs> that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, something. I have something. I like how it just looks like Kamoshida. For a second, I thought that actually did trigger <laughs> Kamoshida to appear on the thing. All right, so we ate a delicious meal. And then uh, let's just go examine the work desk. Okay. Ooh, three. Don't mind me then. Uh, I say we just go all in on uh, the good shit, honestly. What else? What else would you spend these on? Yeah, dude. Give me three lockpicks, yeah. and then we don't have to worry about them for the rest of our lives. I would like to know, not that I really want an answer, actually. I don't want an answer. Don't don't give me the answer, but I would like to know how many uh, I need for the next dungeon. And I'm all prepped, man. And I'm all good. Hmm. Wow, what an efficient use of materials. You ended up with even more than I had expected. Yes. You're probably getting better. I can tell just by watching you. We really can only make one more lockpick anyway, so I guess we'll hold off on uh, more proficiency stuff. Again, we want to get our guts and kindness up a little bit. I feel like steadily climbing in everything is a good idea. Obviously, we'll need knowledge three once we get to uh, our second set of exams, most likely. Nice. I saw that. The way you used your hands, you did great. Nice, even more proficiency. Beauty. Well then. Okay, let's go to bed. You got it, buddy. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate! You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I don't understand. Just shut up and listen, inmate! You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. Coming ruin? There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. 
consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Fool, rank level three. Power stock, increase your persona stock to eight slots. Well, isn't that awesome? Were we at six or seven before then? I wonder. All right. You will now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst. The Confidant ability, Power Stock, increases the number of Personas you can hold to eight. It looks like we could only have like five before because it's highlighting two. Uh, very nice. The time has come. Return or, to your brief moments of rest. Sorry, I think we had six Don't before, but yeah, whatever. Your contractor's inmate. Sometimes a person you meet in town can become your confidant. If your goals align, you may be able to form a contract with them. As your relationship deepens, you rank w your rank with that confidant will increase. This will allow you to create even stronger personas. Do your best to find confidants and strengthen these relationships. Interesting how they're giving me uh, this information a little bit later than you'd expect, right? Considering uh, we were already doing that, like, before we uh, finished off Kamashita. Although, really, Kamashita might have as well been, like, a tutorial, right? Right? Although that final boss was kind of hard on hard. Okay, I would just like to point out, I love how it says broke-ass college student. <laughs> Man, I wish I had money. I'd kill for a real breakfast. Have you heard? What about Big Bang Burger? The one on Central Street is holding a contest right now. The Big Bang Challenge or whatever. If you go at night, you can eat for only 500 yen. You gotta eat one of their giant burgers though, right? How can anyone actually finish that? Still, 500 yen is a steal. Wow. Wow, a huge burger, huh? Interesting. I bet giving that a go will increase your guts. Actually, we should do that just because we need guts to go up. Even though I know we'll fail it, because I think you need a certain amount of guts to complete Big Burger Challenge. Like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like, well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. The teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm. Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. <laughs> Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. Man, that was actually really cool. <laughs> well, uh, it's true though, like, she actually is talking about something that's interesting, which is multiple personalities. I, I, you know, I always feel like as I, as I watch certain movies or uh, certain people on Twitch or YouTube or something like that, like, you gain also, like, slight personalities from those people. Which is also interesting. Like, if you watch enough Tim Rogers, you might just say, you never swear again, you know? <laughs> you might just never swear again. You might say, heck, and then look at the other camera and go, but it wasn't heck, though. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch his Doom review over on Action Button. It is probably the most hilarious review I've ever watched of anything 
And that man is a goddamn weirdo genius, and I love him. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, sidetrack is done here. Uh, it feels like gaining that knowledge made me a bit smarter. If only I could be smarter in real life. <laughs> Sad face. Luckily, we're ready for the exams, dude. We're ready. Trust me, I actually, I, I perma lost the game, the, the Persona 5. At one it ain't point. much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Ugh, deal with that yourself. Hey, those girls. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's true. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? But look what happened to Kamashita. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamoshida-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita, but do you mean... All of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Th thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. Oh shit, we getting texted in class. The police are really here? 
I saw them at the entrance. I saw them too. They were talking to teachers? That change of heart thing's seriously amazing, huh? I hope they don't find out we're responsible. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. There's no proof it was us. Should we turn ourselves in? Hmm? We don't need to worry. You sound sure of yourself. But, I mean, haven't rumors been going around about how you guys threaten Kamashita? This world's Kamashita uh, yeah. <laughs> this world's Kamashita shouldn't know about... Oh my god, why is this sentence so weird for me to read? This world's Kabashita shouldn't know anything about the actual... What actually happened to them, though. Oh my god. Still... We did what was right. Don't go freaking out over some label. I, I guess that's true. Man, I really can't wait for keep uh, to keep living this double life. Alright, Akabane. We're gonna be counting on you. Hey, are you listening? Oh shit. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Uh, I feel a murderous intent. <gasps> Whoa, that was an epic dodge. I can't believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> well, whatever. Moving on. Hey! Oh, you've got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Yeah, what can I say? I'm, I'm pretty charming. <laughs> what can I say? Oh. Hey. Have you seen that Phantom Aficionado website? I've heard of it. I'm the one who started it. Um... You guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Oh, shit. What? Sorry. Although, if things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Kamoshida used me. And I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. That's great, but... I'm glad to hear that. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? Sounds like fun. I'll live up to your expectations. I promise. I sense abundantly high expectations from Mishima. Oh wow, we got ourselves a new uh, confidant? She's gonna be like, you had someone running a website, didn't you? I'm like, I didn't start it. I didn't do shit. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Moon Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, we got the Moon Arcana from Yuki Mishima, our brand new confidant. He gives Mishima support! Allows backup members to earn EXP. Well, we don't have backup members yet, but I'm sure the moment we do, 
we will be able to uh, get them a bit of EXP. I hope they also get a lot. <laughs> the one thing that always sucks is like when they get zero XP, so at least they're gonna get something, but like, is it 50%, is it 25%, or is it 100%, I wonder. All right, you've unlocked the moon confidant. All right. See you. Bye. We heard all that. Jeez. It was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima-kun's. Has he figured out our identities? Even so, I think it'll be fine. He seemed to be playing it cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though. A forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better. All you're good at is English. I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists. Bring it. Will you two stop it? I love the idea of Ryuji fighting a cat in the middle of his class. <laughs> okay. Let's not draw any meow attention to ourselves until we find our next target. Don't forget to study, though. I'm not getting blamed if your grades sh are shit, bro. What to do between targets? There are various things to do around the city before your next target. Try listening to rumors and visiting different locations. Perhaps you'll meet someone who has new information. Deepening relationships with your confidants can bring various benefits to the Phantom Thieves. Use your time wisely to get the best results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you very much. It's so, it's so nice to actually be back and playing some more Persona 5. Hopefully you can get to uh, the point of which uh, Sega will essentially shut down your entire channel. Um, but yeah, before then, let's have some fun and get to that point at least uh, before we consider uh, risking it for the biscuit. Am I right? <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and take it easy.